Hi, folks. Welcome back to Pop Pop Fizzle. I'm Jeff. I'm Heidi. And this is DRD. This is Rigel. Yep. And we're back to watch more Farscape. You need to come down off of there because, uh, yeah. Um, we are going to watch the next episode in this journey. We're at episode 10, at least as far as Amazon Prime has it listed. We hope that you're watching these episodes on Amazon Prime, by the yeah, way. Yeah, please do. Um, because watching us react to it's one thing, but support the show. Um, make sure Amazon uh, is seeing people watching this show so that they know you want to see more of it. Um, and, it doesn't, it. and it doesn't just disappear like so many other shows do from things like Prime and Netflix and that kind of thing. Um, so we're going to watch uh, episode 10, which is called They've Got a Secret. Uh, in real time, not your time, but in real time, we just finished the last episode DNA Mad Scientist, which was uh, kind of a rough episode to get through. Yeah, it was definitely uh, our characters not at their very best. No, uh, except for maybe, you know, well, I mean, Crichton got tossed around a lot, which <laughs> seems to be his bag. And yeah. uh, um, and I felt really bad for Aaron and for Pilot. Yeah. Um, right. We're going to check out this episode and see if we like this one a little bit better. Um, we hope that you will watch along with us. If you want to see the full reaction, you can do that on Patreon, as always. That link is in the description. If you like this sort of content, be sure and give it the thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. And if you know other people that enjoy Farscape, Tell them. And, yeah, tell them about it and say, send them a link. Say, look, these two weirdos oh, are watching the, this show that the, I love. These two idiots. And if you don't uh, appreciate the show, maybe you can mock them for a good 20 minutes. Yeah. Um, that works for us, too. Yeah. We are going to watch this, and um, then we're going to give you our thoughts on it. And um, that's kind of how this thing works. Yep. Yep. Here we go. Yep. I have no data on how many Peacekeeper devices may still be concealed. And it he's got his arm as back. Long as it takes. Well... The thing is, I feel well, like this is probably like the after room. they Ooh. had that Out other. For the peacekeeper radar. Yeah. It's possible that Grace might get close enough to us to reactivate devices like these. You may have noticed he seems determined to follow us no matter where we go. Right. So this is out of order also. You're out of order. Objection. You're Sustained. Hey. <laughs> these are peacekeeper mockings. Pilot, stop rapping and tell me what to do. Ah, uh, that is not what he told you to do. Moya well, says she just got a Dargo Pilot, Venema. Where was he last time you talked to him? Ah. Oh, that's not helpful, you idiot. Whoop, and there he goes. What the hell was that? I've got Dargo back, and I've got him on scan. Yeah, careful before Moya, like, poops you out. Pilot, what tier is Dargo on? He's not on any tier. What do you mean? Did you get blown out? How long can Luxon survive in vacuum? About a quarter of an hour, maybe. Unless they're revived soon after. Oh, Low land. Low land? How do you feel, Dagger? I'll be alright. Didn't think I could be that clumsy, did you? <laughs> you feeling okay? I'm. Working on it. Getting huh. some odd readings from some of Moya's systems. What are these? Looks like debris. It's from the uh, explosion. No. What's that? Pilot. Pilot. What was Dargo's last known location? Right before the explosion. Uh, tier 21 up section. You okay here? Yeah. Lead me that way. I'm coming with you. Whatever's affecting Moya is bugging Pilot, too. The explosion. Well, they have a symbiotic fusion, right? Mm hmm. Pilot's tendrils run all through the ship. Maybe Dargo sat off something that struck them both. Pilot! Got a couple of your little DRD buddies with us down here after all. Uh, I don't read any DRDs in that section. Well, they're down here. Um. They seem a bit violent. Seem hostile. <laughs> Oh! What? Yeah, John. Look out! Yeah, but look at them, they're identical. Since when is debris from the explosion that uniform? Crichton! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not like he's lollygagging. If only she knew the word Crichton. She'd do that all the time. Trick, but it's very strong, so I gotta get it only on the DRD gunk, not on your hand. Right. 
and then we have to rinse it immediately afterwards. Right, just, right, right. Let's just hurry up, shall we? Excuse me for being careful, but this stuff could eat through your skin down okay, to the Okay, so let's avoid that. Right, exactly. So pipe down and hold still. <laughs> A biomechanoid virus? Yeah, left behind by the peacekeepers. As what? Uh, another passive weapon like the Paddock Beacon? Exactly. Dargo must have found something, did something that released it. Still sting? Silver is off, I think. Good. Feels fine. We heard that music change. Yeah. When you look at me, you old flatterer. What do you see? Skies of blue. My future. Mm. No matter what the others say, I see you and me together. Aaron, you were born to this. I mean, th this science. You you've had it your whole life. You have no idea how advanced it all is to me. I think I do. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't think so. Violet! Yes? We're gonna have the systems malfunction to report. Not a m malfunction. I'm seeing, seeing signs of intent, well, intent, intentional sabotage. How'd you do that? I think this control is balanced. And this is illumination. Aaron, thanks. You've done it. I don't know how. Was injected with pilot's DNA. It must oh. have made some kind of permanent change. Uh -huh. Is it flushed down there? Is it? I know exactly what you're doing, Jothy. Jothy? Come here, boy. Boy. Now. Oh. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Have your grab this locks. This is what it looks like. I'm not. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, ah. oh <laughs> it's a hug. Ah. Oh. What did I say about going through other people's things? What is to. the matter with you? No. Mm. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> How dare you handle me this way? Oh. Jothy, <laughs> you are so big. Oh, my size is never a matter for discussion. Oh, I love you, son. Son? You think I'm your son? Yes, son. No matter what happens, I will always love you. Dad, can I have my allowance? <laughs> Seems like a Rigel thing to ask. Except it's not a virus. This test just confirmed that the particles are not a distinct organism like a virus. They're actually made up of Moya's genetic material. Is that that name you called Zan? Was it Lolan? Don't speak her name. Yeah, like a like a Lolan Meowth in yes. Pokemon. Who's Lolan? Who's Lolan? You may despise your sister for marrying me, Mecton. But don't mock her by feigning to forget her name. Mac Man. 10, he thinks he's a rapper. Yes. Run away. Oh, they have firepower? <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, no. Hello, Dargo. It's <laughs> <laughs> a great musical cue. Yeah. Oh. Wow, that's uh, extremely personal. I reject you, and I reject your marriage. No, you think yourself worthy of her when you cower from her memory. Her memory burns in my very soul. You? Come on. You're dead? Yes. But keep moving. You have to remember. I don't want to. You must. You killed her! Oh. Keep her from me. You killed Lillian. Her own brother killed her. You were so young. I never had the chance to tell you why your mother and I went away from the world that we knew. Come on, Riley. I had to send you away. I was charged with your mother's murder. Before they could arrest me, I got you to another planet safely away. To a place where I prayed that Macton and others like him would never find you. Macton arrested me. He still had her dried blood on his hands. Thought you were arrested by a peacekeeper. 
It was quite a coup for him. Maxim was a peacekeeper. If if he was a peacekeeper, then Lolan was. Uh huh. Namor is pregnant. That's why the particles are biomechanoid. Yeah, it's a catalyst. A catalyst for pregnancy. Then Moya hasn't been trying to kill us after all. No, she's protecting her baby. Darren! Stop. Listen, you gotta stop cutting! Stop! 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 stop. What? Damn it, Darren, listen to me! You gotta stop cutting! Now! All right, stopped. Moya? I don't know if you can hear me through this DRD. Hell, I don't even know if you can understand me without pilot translating. But we would never hurt you or your baby. We're happy that you're having a child. But do we have to die so that your baby can live? The fetus is alive and well. Pilot, there must be other changes to come as the fetus develops. What can we be expecting? Yeah, is this some kind of what to expect when you're expecting a baby leviathan book? Dr. Spock, Mr. Spock. I'm afraid pilots are not privy to any special knowledge regarding the gestation cycle. Do you therefore think that my son is evil? No. Because in his eyes, I see you. Dargo, no matter what happens to us, I will never tell anyone about your son. All right, that is it for another episode of Farscape. They've got a secret. Yes, they have. Yeah. So they've got a secret. It just, like, I have that Beatles song running through my head. Listen. Yeah. No, we, we can't sing it. We'll we, we can't. We'll copyright get copyright strike. strikes, yeah. But that song. Um, but I don't think that that was what that song was about. Sure. Um, okay, so I do, like, okay, so I'm assuming that if you're watching along with us, you've seen this series or you've seen these episodes already. So or you're at least watching along. the episode before yeah. you watch this. Yeah. So I don't want to spoil anyone, but I'm assuming that, like, 99% of you who are watching have seen all of these already. Um, so I did know that at some point in time Moya did have a baby. Um, and so as soon as, like, we – recognize that those particles were part of her i was like oh i bet that was peacekeeper birth control yeah i i didn't remember it being this early on um yeah i, did, I had no idea so when that was gonna happen totally sketchy on yeah all this. i didn't know um, plus i still don't know how real babies are made so let alone you know um spaceships i mean storks right 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 that's that's what shows up at the hospital storks um, <laughs> no, I, I like this episode because specifically because of the character character building that, that they got to learn Dargo's story from Dargo, even though he wasn't like consciously telling them. Yeah, and that, that's the thing I really like. Because um, he might not have gotten around to that no, anytime soon. No, probably not. Um, I like it when we can learn... The, like learn a lot about our characters without having an info dump, like just like, you know, just saying it all out loud. I mean, right. yeah, sometimes they they use some trauma and they have to tell a backstory about themselves, but that's, you know, that's pretty tropey. It happens a lot. And this was different, you know, he, so we understood that he was suffering from some sort of weird memory lapse. And so he was seeing things that had happened or right. people that existed b before he was uh, on, on Moya. Um, but we had to like, figure that out one and two you know imagine what he was seeing because we didn't get flashbacks so yeah. that was definitely different too i'm sure it was a budget thing uh, I, but well, I don't even know if it's that or if this was just the best way to tell the story uh, you know if we're if you're taking this off of moya for flashbacks then the situation that's happening on moya yeah is going to get lost in that shuffle, I feel like. So to me, this was the best way to tell this story. Yeah. Um, I really like to, just going back to characters for a minute, I really like to that, you know, we get a lot of stuff with Rigel being selfish and, and self-focused and all of that. And he's still Rigel in this episode. But you could tell that he was moved as he was beginning to understand mm -hmm. what he was seeing. Yeah. And he, he, didn't, he didn't contradict it 
much after he figured out what was going on. He just kind of went along with it because he knew that, that was what right. Dargo needed. Right. Uh, so I like that. I like those little bits of character development there. Um, clearly, lots of character development from Aaron. Um, going from someone who would have turned them all in um, yeah. in that first episode to, you know, here we are nine episodes later, and, you know, she's willing to keep the secret, even yeah. though she's been trained from birth to believe that that's wrong. Yeah. Um, we also have insight into Dargo that in spite of being a warrior, he had left that life behind in order to be with the person he loved yeah, and to settle somewhere else. So that says a lot about how much that meant to him. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, it, it recalls, you know, um, the loving case, you know, in the U S and, and, you know, uh, biracial marriage being decided and, and all of that and how, there were segments of society that looked down on that sort of thing. Ridiculous. And, uh, and I mean, unfortunately there are probably still people that do. Um, but this was a, a good way to deal with that sort of situation and to show like what a horrible thing it is. Yeah. Um, you know, for him to have lost the person he loves simply because people didn't agree with him being with her. Um, and, and, you know, I, I don't know anything. I don't know enough about, um, his culture to know if his people would have been any more Forgiving. accepting of yeah. that or forgiving of that than the Sebations were. Yeah. The Sebations clearly played the bad guy role in, in his particular story, but we don't know yeah. that his own people would have been any more. I mean, clearly if they settled somewhere else, it was for a reason. Yeah. And it, it's interesting though. Like uh, we just got off of a, an episode where we were talking about DNA and that sort of thing. Right. Um, and uh, who knew that Luxons and Sebations could interbreed? We didn't know that. So now that's, sure. a, that's a new, that's new information. Uh, how close are, li- are they? Well, you just have to make sure the stork has the right planet. This is true. This. Um, anyway. Yeah. I, I like this because of the character interactions. And again, it, it's, it's a bit of whiplash for me to go from them being where they were last episode to being where they are this episode. And yeah. clearly this was supposed to, I mean, even if they're not exactly in the right order, we know this is after uh, DNA mad scientist at some point. So, yeah. um, so hard, hard to say what, you know, I we, like, we know that like, obviously things happen off screen sure. that uh, are, um, you know, we don't get, we're not privy to. So, but surely. I like Aaron, recalling some things that she learned from that experience that yeah. some part of uh, her understanding of pilot yeah. came into play here, much like uh, Xander's military training in Buffy the Vampire Slayer oh. comes back when it's handy. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I, I yeah, like those little, <laughs> I like those sort of things because um, you can do a lot of character building quickly in the middle of a crisis. You know, everybody's got to put, to stuff, work. Yeah, they got to put stuff aside Certain and figure things. out how to so, make things so work. So Crichton had to push the right buttons to get Dargo to come out of that, which meant they learned about his past. They learned why, what terrible crime, crime mm. he committed to yeah. be on Moya in the first place. Yeah. And it wasn't the sort of thing we would imagine no. from a warrior. No. Um, likewise, we got to see that, again, that Rigel has a heart buried in there somewhere. Right there. And that... Uh, oh, actually, I don't know his physiology. It might be somewhere else. It's okay. And that, you know, Pilot's connection to Moya is so... Intricate. Intricate and so self-sacrificial that she just did what she needed to do. Yeah. Can't falter for that, you yeah. know. Um, so their relationship is always unique and, and interesting to learn more about. Um, I, I, I still think that... Aaron pilot connection is fun, not just because of what happened in DNA mad scientist, but, but also we've seen pilot care for Aaron and yeah. Aaron try to care for pilot and sort of that growing relationship as well. Um, people trusting Crichton more. He's, um, he's not an idiot. He's not, you know? So yeah, I, I really feel like somebody said in the comments recently and forgive me if I can't recall immediately your name, but uh, somebody said that, you know, they like kind of rewatching these through our eyes because some of these episodes are not their favorites, but they I think they do people. see that they, you know, are good for the character building early yeah, on. And, and I think this is that. a really good one for that. Yeah. Uh, clearly, uh, Moya being pregnant is going to be an okay. ongoing thing. Yeah, that's going to come up. Something's H- however, happen. all the stuff around it, I think, was really well done and 
gave us real insight into these characters at this point in their journey. Because, I mean, we're, we're nearly halfway through the season, so yeah. really setting that up. Um, I think we are halfway through. I think yeah. there are 20 episodes in the season, so okay. we've hit so the really, point. So really setting up these relationships and what makes the show work. Really well. Um, in any series, not every episode is going to be the best. I'm not sure DNA Mad Scientist last week would have no. been uh, something that I would immediately just tell people they've got to see. No. But it still furthered these characters it along did. their journey and got us here, and some, uh, including some callback to that yeah. in this episode. And I got to wonder what was happening. Uh, the first season of this, you know, we know that there were problems getting, like, at the end we, we of the whole series, we wound up with a cliffhanger that didn't get answered until the Peacekeeper Wars. And I got to wonder, like, so this was the first season. How much incentive did they have? Did they have a two- or three-season deal? There was it just this one, so they had to make sure that they told at least a full story and if they could pick up some strings for the next season they had them but you know how much were how invested were they into making sure they had a full season told well, uh, i guess we'll find out yeah. in the actual 12 episodes ahead of us yes uh, oh. so yeah so we're not quite at the halfway not point, quite at but the halfway point sorry we're getting there and it's been a fun ride so far yeah. um fun for me to share these with you because even though you kind of came in at the tail end when <laughs> This was originally as per usual thing. thing. I, I, you know, it's it's cool for me to kind of see them through your eyes as well, and to talk about them because we we do talk off camera. We don't we don't say everything here, um, or else you'd be here for hours. We um, would. But um, yeah, we're we're really enjoying this ride, and we're really glad that you guys are enjoying being a part of yeah, it with thank us you so because much for joining us. nobody else was really doing Farscape reactions when we started this, and and we kind of weren't sure if people would want to see. Farscape reaction. So we're we're grateful for every single one of you that yeah, watch these with you. us. We appreciate that. Um, I said a uh, time or two ago that if you uh, can reach out to the stars and the cast and crew and everything to let them know that you still appreciate this show. And I heard back that not a lot of them are, are active on social media or whatever. And that's fine. That's cool. But there are other ways to make your love of Farscape known. Share this reaction for one, but also um, just talk about Farscape. Yeah. Encourage other people to watch it. I yeah. mean, it's on Amazon. Amazon Prime, so many people have access to it right now. It's a great time to get people on board. Yeah, so sh- if you Amazon. love the show, yeah. tell your friends, uh, get people involved. I do that all the time. I hoodwink people into watching stuff I like. I hoodwink her into all kinds of stuff and vice versa. But um, yeah. Not nearly as much. Anyway. Yeah, that's it for us this time. Uh, Let us know what you thought about this episode in the comments down below. And as always, if you like this sort of thing, hit that thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. And if you want to watch the full reaction, that link is in the description. Until next time, folks. Bye. Bye.